and welcome back to Tropical. Oh no, it's Colette's Marine Tank. Welcome back to Colette's Marine Tank. So sorry. Um, I'm so used to doing that on a daily basis now that it just spills out off my mouth. Um, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a haul. Um, it is a budget haul. Obviously, most people are probably on budgets nowadays with the energy prices going up and so on and so forth. Um, but the haul managed to get me a nice little poly box. I say little, it's not so little. But anyway, um, so I'm going to be showing you everything that I got in the haul today. Um, I'll do a little tank update for you as well. So if you want to watch till the end, that's what you're going to get from this video. Video. Um, so the tank update, um, it, everything's doing fine. Um, currently inside inhabitants are the Midas Blenny and the Sulphur Gobi with the Pistol Shrimp. Um, I do have some snails in there, a conch and a starfish. So I got Susie the starfish, which is a sand sifting starfish. She's doing a great job throughout my sand, uh, which was needed, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and yeah, other than that, nothing else has been added until right at this very moment. So right at this moment, I have added in one new addition in fish. And um, this is part of a family that I have loved for years. I would love one day to go swimming with the parrotfish family. So I can't actually own a standard parrotfish because they get huge and I have a 119 litre tank here. Um, I have got past the idea of having to have a tank big enough for one because that is not gonna happen. And now I have realized that you can also get a dwarf parrotfish if you didn't know that. And this is the purple striped dwarf parrotfish. Which I fell in love with, the colours on it and the patterns on it. Also its personality, I just love. So I actually pitched, picked up this fish today and really, really happy um, with it. I've added it into the tank, so I will show you a little bit later in this video what it's looking like in the tank if you've not seen one before. And yeah, I managed to get quite a lot of different corals or coral frags, should I say, for the tank as well. So it's looking a bit more colourful than what it was before because um, I actually haven't added that many corals since I opened this tank just before Christmas time now. So yeah, tank's doing great. All the levels are absolutely fine, which is perfect. And um, the only thing that's happened is I have lost um, the clownfish. So yeah it's a sad it's a sad thing to lose any type of fish um but i've checked all my levels ever since all my other fish are doing absolutely fine so i'm sorry that i didn't do a video last week but i just wanted to make sure that nothing else was going to happen and i do also want to be honest with you um, so yeah my clownfish is gone but um i may wait a little bit longer for any other clownfish and potentially will look at wild caught clownfish for myself um because I like I said, I want the um, clowns to actually attach to or want to house in the anemone. So we'll wait and see. Um, there is obviously some nice designer type clownfish that you can get, but preferably I would like one that goes with an anemone. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm not getting my hopes up. So moving on, I'm going to show you everything that was inside this box and um, it all inside the tank once it's all settled because I have mixed up the to try to a little bit when adding in all these coral frags. So they're just placed for this moment in time until I'm happy that they're settled and then I'll get them glued or um, stuck down with reefers putty. Hope you all enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so let's get started with unboxing some of this stuff. So right here is the fish. Now I've got everything into my sump to come up to temperature and then once it's all up to temperature I've then drip acclimated the fish separately but all of the corals I've got added in as you can see here. I have sped this process up so I'm not going this fast in real life. <laughs> um, now like I said at the start I am just placing everything inside um, for the time being until I'm ready to glue it down or, or reef as putty it all onto the rock work. I am being careful where I'm placing these corals within the tank because the anemone is walking about a lot at the moment until it finds its happy place. So here we are. All of the corals are now inside the tank. I'm very happy with everything that I've picked. 
um, as you can see here we've got a South Pacific Zoa rock here um, next to it is the frog spawn and on the opposite side is the gold torch then we've got the dragon soul I've got a little Duncan frag there that's not opened up as of yet and I've got quite a lot of mushrooms now different types of mushrooms I've got another little zoa frag, some button scolemias and some acan frags and then also a nice um, orange bush coral at the top. Here is the purple striped dwarf parrotfish, very happy and content and goes straight into the rock work. Now these fish are omnivorous so they do like a mixture of plant based and um, meat based diets. So as well as the standard brine shrimp copepods that I will be feeding the tank, I'll also be feeding some algae sheets as well. Now here is my sulfur goby. He is very happy in this little destination here, but hasn't quite paired with my pistol shrimp as of yet. And lastly, my beautiful Midas Blenny. I am obsessed with this fish. I know um, this is probably a very common fish to most people, but for me, she just has the best personality ever so much fun um, so much fun to watch and she's jumping about she's constantly like rushing up to the surface to like and then she'll come straight up to the camera when the camera's around as well and doing little tricks so that's everything from me today guys thank you very much for watching this video and yeah i hope you all enjoyed it the little haul and um if you are wanting to follow more of a daily journey, um, you can go over to my Instagram account if you haven't seen that already. That's under the name Colette's Marine Tank as well. Um, and yeah, if you haven't clicked subscribe, please feel free to click subscribe button. I can see that a lot of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. And yeah, I would really appreciate that. Thank you everyone. Have a great day.